Hey art friends, today we're going to draw another mob from Minecraft. A Minecraft spider. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our spider's head. We're going to draw a rectangle shape close to the left side of our paper so that we have room for the body over here. So we'll draw a line down and then also a line across. It looks like the letter L. Good job. Then we're going to draw the top of our spider's head and draw a line down. And that completes the rectangle. Nice. Next we're going to draw the spider's eyes. We're going to draw another rectangle that's a little smaller inside of the head. So we'll draw another letter L and then we can draw the top, an upside down L to complete the rectangle shape. Now let's draw a line in the middle to divide it in half and then we'll draw another line on each side and then we can draw another line right down the middle going horizontal. Nice! Now let's draw the, the mandibles or the parts of, yeah. <laughs> We're going to draw a line that goes up, over, and across. See how half of it is on the outside of the eyes and the other half is on the inside. We could draw a line right down the middle. Let's do the same thing over here. We'll draw another rectangle shape and then another line down the middle. And if we ever go too fast, you guys can always pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. Okay, now let's draw more eyes as spiders have lots of eyes. We're going to start in the middle. So we'll draw an imaginary line that comes over here. We'll draw a short line in and we'll go up and then connect back to the outside of the head. And then we can split that rectangle shape in half also. Let's do the same thing on the right side, right in the middle, in, up, and then back out. And then split the rectangle in the middle. Okay, let's add two more eyes on each side. We're gonna draw a small square up here on the top. And I kind of lined it up with the outside eyes. And we can do the same thing over here, that same size square shape. And then right here, we're going to draw another square that's connected to that top one. And we can do the same thing on the left side. There's a lot of eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to draw the legs to our spider. Let's start down here. We'll draw a leg coming straight down. So we're going to draw a line that comes down. Now it looks like a flag. <laughs> yeah. Then we're going to draw a line that comes over and then back up and connect to the side of the head. Well, let's make this leg 3D. So we'll add another line right next to the side and then we can connect it in at the bottom. Yeah. All right. Now let's draw another leg, but we're going to draw it diagonal. So we'll repeat those same steps. We'll come down and then let's draw the bottom of the leg. So a short line about the same length as this line. And then we're going to draw a line, diagonal line coming back to the head, but we're going to stop before we connect. There you go. And then finish the rectangle shape at the top. All right. Now let's draw the side of the leg, just like we did over here. So we'll draw a short line or a line that's really close to the, to the leg and we'll draw it shorter and then connect in. Now let's draw a short line connecting to the head at the top. Let's draw another leg right next to it. We're going to draw it diagonal coming down this way and let's draw two short lines coming out from the top and also the bottom and then we can connect those lines also. And at the very top, let's draw another line that connects into the head. We have three legs. We need one more. So it's four on each side. Yes. Right for a total of eight. So we're going to draw this one. We're going to draw overlapping or behind this third leg. Over here, let's draw a short line down this time. And then we'll draw the rest of the leg coming back. Oh, we need to add, let's make this third leg right here three dimensional also. Let's draw a line right next to it. Totally forgot. Yeah. And then we can connect that one in too. Now we're going to do the same thing to this leg. Draw a line right next to it and then connect in. 
Oh, that looks so cool, Jack. I love it. Now let's add two more legs on the left side, and we're only gonna draw two on this side because the rest are overlapping. So let's draw a diagonal line coming down, a short line for the bottom of the leg, and then we'll draw a, another line that's parallel to the first one we drew. That means it's going right next to it. And we're gonna make it look 3D, just like we did with these legs. We're gonna draw another line right next to it, and then connect in to the bottom. Okay, let's add one more leg sticking straight out. We're gonna draw a horizontal line. Then we can draw a short line up for the bottom of the legs, and then connect it back into the head. Let's make this one 3D too. Let's add just one more line for the side of the leg and then connect it to the bottom. All right, now we're ready to draw the body. It's looking so cool. Let's draw a short line coming out of this corner. Then we're gonna draw a line coming across like this over the top of the head. And then let's draw another diagonal line connecting to the head. This is the middle part of the body. Then we're gonna draw a line straight down and connect to the legs. Now we're gonna draw the big part of the body or the abdomen. We're gonna start here and let's draw a line that's parallel to this line right here. So we could just take that line and we're gonna move it up a little higher. We're gonna draw a line that matches, so it's parallel. Let's use our eyes to measure on the left and also on the right. See where this corner is and this corner? Yes. We wanna see, we wanna measure this distance and see if it matches this distance over here. So on your side, maybe this could go out just a little further. I'm gonna also draw, draw mine a little further out too and then we're gonna draw a straight line to connect down to the head. Now let's do the same thing over here. We're gonna connect it to the legs then we're gonna draw the side of the body coming back. This is a diagonal line. Goes back further, yeah, there you go. And then we're gonna match that same line right here and draw it back further too. Well, I'm drawing a really big body. <laughs> <laughs> then we can connect those two lines together. Yeah, there you go. And then we're gonna draw a line that comes down. Now I'm not gonna connect it all the way down to the legs, so we just leave a little space. Yeah, that's perfect. And then we're gonna draw a line. See this diagonal line right here? We're gonna match that same diagonal line and draw a parallel line at the bottom and connect it into the leg. Look at that, Jack, you nice. did it. <laughs> you drew a Minecraft spider, it looks super 3D. Except now that we're done, I'm looking at my legs and they look a little short. So we can extend them because we're gonna color the spiders gray with a lot of texture or yes. kind of a dark, a dark gray. So right here, I'm gonna extend this leg down further. So I'm gonna take all of the lines and extend them down, make them a lot longer and then we can connect them just the same way that we did in the beginning. Yeah, let's extend this one down further too. I'm gonna extend all of them. They look really cool, but once we're once we finished, I thought that they just look too small, too yes. short. The spider legs in Minecraft are actually pretty long. So I'm gonna extend, maybe even turn my paper a little bit sideways so that it's easier to draw a straight line. And then we'll connect the bottoms just like we did. Now this part, you can pause if you need to take time to extend your legs also. Extend them down, connect the bottoms. I wanna extend the left side too. Even further. That looks so much better. Oh, this one really needs to extend out further too. Now this is a cool thing about art. If you think that you need to change your drawing, you can. Yes. There's no mistakes. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. Now we still need to do one more thing to our drawing. Color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video if you wanna match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, we did it. We finished coloring our spiders. Now we used our biannual markers and if you have the same set, you could use the same colors that we use. 
we used WG05 for the entire body. So we just colored it in solid. I actually added an, another layer on top just to make the side of the spider look darker. That makes it look more 3D. Now we also used R107 for the eyes and R126. Now if we want to, we could leave it just like this, but I think we should add the Minecraft texture to it, the little pixels. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, we're gonna use WG07 to add little square texture on the legs. So let's start here, and we're gonna draw, we could even just use the side of our marker and just add a little stripe. I'm gonna add two more stripes, one here, and then look at that, it's perfect. You can hide that little extra line yeah. with the texture. So then I'm gonna use the side of the marker and add a pixel wrapping around the side of the leg. So it looks more 3D. I'm gonna do that on every leg. We'll add a little stripe, the three stripes, going down the side of the leg. Then I'm gonna add a dark pixel on the corner of the head. You could keep going. I added them over here on this leg too. Cool. And then I'm gonna add a little pixel below each of the eyes on the side of the head. Now you can add more texture if you want, but I think I'll leave it just like that. Add a few on the side of the spider. You can add a few pixels on the body too. Oh, now it's looking a lot more like Minecraft spider. Yeah. <laughs> on the side of the body, when you add the pixels, you can add them going diagonal so that it looks more 3D too. Give me five, Jack. We did it. Now it really looks like Minecraft spider. Yes. I love the texture. Now you guys could even add a background, a Minecraft background. Maybe it's at night too and the spider is looking at you because it's going to attack. Yeah, it's in a cave. Oh, a cave spider. Yeah. yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Minecraft spiders. And we hope you have fun adding more things to your drawing to complete it. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.